This article considers transport in Armenia. For Soviet transportation, see transport in the Soviet Union. 825 km in common carrier service, does not include industrial lines 825 km of 1520 mm gauge there is no service south of Yerevan. City with metro system, Yerevan most of the cross-border lines are currently closed due to political problems. However, there are daily inbound and outbound trains connecting Tbilisi and Yerevan. Departing from Yerevan railway station trains connect to both Tbilisi and Batumi. From neighboring Georgia, trains depart to Yerevan from Tbilisi railway station. Within Armenia, new electric trains connect passengers from Yerevan to Armenia's second largest city of Gumri. The new trains run four times a day and the journey takes approximately two hours. There is also discussion to establish a rail link between Yerevan and Tehran. Armenia is pursuing funding from the Asian Development Bank to launch construction of this infrastructure project. The completion of the project could establish a major commodities transit corridor and would serve as the shortest transportation route between Europe and the Persian Gulf. In June 2019, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani backed this project and stated that we want the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman to be connected to the Black Sea, and one of the ways to make this happen is through Iran. Armenia and Georgia Yerevan Metro train the capital city of Armenia, Yerevan, is serviced by the Yerevan Metro. The system was launched in 1981 and like most former Soviet metros, its stations are very deep and intricately decorated with national motifs. The metro runs on a 13. 4 km line and currently serves 10 active stations. Trains run every 5 minutes from 6.30 a.m. until 11 p.m. Local AMT time. As of 2017, the annual ridership of the metro is 16. 2 million passengers. Free Wi-Fi is available at all stations and some trains. Land borders are open with both Georgia and Iran. Yerevan Central Bus Station, also known as Kilikia Bus Station is the main bus terminal in Yerevan with buses connecting to both internal and international destinations. There are daily bus connections between Yerevan and Tbilisi and Yerevan and Tehran. Approximately three times daily, buses depart from Yerevan Central Bus Station to Stepanakir, the capital of the partially recognized state of Artsakh. There are also scheduled bus routes which connect Yerevan with Kiev, Moscow, St. Petersburg as well as several other cities across Russia. It is also possible to connect to Chisinau Moldova, Minsk Belarus and other cities in Eastern Europe from Yerevan through connecting bus routes via Georgia and Ukraine. In addition, there is a once-a-week bus service to Istanbul via Georgia. In June 2019, a new bus route from Baghdad to Yerevan via Iran began. The Armenian bus network connects all major cities and towns and many villages throughout the country. In larger cities and towns such as Yerevan, Gumri, Vanadzor, and Armavir, bus stations are equipped with a waiting room and a ticket office, in other towns bus stations may not have shelters. Most of the routes are operated by GAZL minivans with a capacity of 15 passengers, some routes are operated by Soviet bus producer Lias. Yerevan itself has a large integrated bus network, with a newly acquired bus fleet, passengers are able to connect from one end of the city to the other. Wi-Fi is available on most city buses. Despite this, buses often have difficulty meeting the demand for capacity, mainly in Yerevan, where vehicles are typically overcrowded. There are no night services between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. There is no ticket system in the country, passengers pay in cash to drivers. Passengers on the national bus network pay before boarding, Passengers on the Yerevan bus network pay after the ride, while leaving the vehicle. Timetables and fares are published on transport for Armenia. From Yeratasartikan metro station in downtown Yerevan, travelers can take the 201 airport shuttle which goes directly to Svartnats International Airport, which takes approximately 20 minutes from the city center. The E-Road network in Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan. However, the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan is closed due to strained relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Since independence, Armenia has been developing its internal highway network. The North-South Road Corridor Investment Program is a major infrastructure project which aims at connecting the southern border of Armenia with its northern by means of a 556 km long Megri Yerevan Bavar Highway. It is a major one US dollar. 5 billion infrastructure project funded by the Asian Development Bank, European Investment Bank and the Eurasian Development Bank. When completed, the highway will provide access to European countries via the Black Sea. 
It could also eventually interconnect the Black Sea ports of Georgia with the major ports of Iran, thus positioning Armenia in a strategic transport corridor between Europe and Asia. Armenia is pursuing further loans from China as part of the Belt and Road Initiative to complete the North-South Highway. Armenia connects to European road networks via the international e-road network through various routes such as, European Route E-117, European Route E-691, European Route E-001 and European Route E-60. Armenia also connects to the Asian Highway Network through routes AH-81, AH-82 and AH-83. The number of insured registered cars in Armenia has grown from 390,457 in 2011 to 457,878 in 2015. 8,140 km world ranking, 112 7,700 km 0 km natural gas 3,838 km cargo shipments to landlocked Armenia are routed through ports in Georgia and Turkey. Svrtnats International Airport Svrtnats International Airport Main Concourse Air transportation in Armenia is the most convenient and comfortable means of getting into the country. There are large international airports that accept both external and domestic flights throughout the republic. As of 2020, 11 airports operate in Armenia, however, only Yerevan Sverdnats International Airport and Gimri Shirak Airport are in use for commercial aviation. There are three additional civil airports currently under reconstruction in Armenia, including Siunik Airport, Stepanavan Airport, and Goris Airport. The main Armenian airlines in operation are Armenia Air Company and Armenia Airways. There are plenty of air connections between Yerevan and other regional cities, including Athens, Barcelona, Beirut, Berlin, Bucharest, Brussels, Damascus, Doha, Dubai, Istanbul, Kiev, Kuwait City. London, Milan, Minsk, Moscow, Paris, Prague, Riga, Rome, Tehran, Tel Aviv, Tbilisi, Vienna, Venice, and Warsaw, as well as daily connections to most major cities within the CIS region. Statistics show that the number of tourists arriving in the country by air transportation increases yearly. In 2018, passenger flow at the two main airports of Armenia reached a record high of 2,856,673 million people. In December 2019, yearly passenger flow exceeded 3 million million people for the first time in Armenia's history. In November 2019, the creation of a free route airspace between Armenia and Georgia was announced. The process has been carried out through the joint efforts of the General Department of Civil Aviation of Armenia, the Georgian Civil Aviation Administration and Eurocontrol. The free route airspace between the two South Caucasus countries will increase flights to around 40,000 annually. Country comparison to the world, 153 total, 10 total, 1 Armenia maintains a number of both military and civilian heliports. The main military heliport is located on the premises of Arabini Airport in Yerevan. Meanwhile, the company Armenian Helicopters, based at Svrtnats Airport in Yerevan, offers charter flights within Armenia and to certain neighboring countries, including Georgia, Russia, and Turkey. Helicopter services are delivered with the US-made Robinson R-66 and the European Airbus EC-130 T2 choppers. Flights can be carried out as scheduled or individual routes. Wings of Tatev Aerial Tramway The Wings of Tatev is currently the world's longest reversible aerial tramway which holds the record for longest non-stop double-track cable car and is located in the town of Halidzer. In October 2019, it was announced that investors were interested in the creation of an aerial tramway in the capital, Yerevan. Armenia cooperates in various international transport-related organizations and agreements including the following. This article incorporates public domain material from the CIA World Factbook document, 2009 edition. Thanks for watching.